This section heading is called Form Staling. So what we're going to do in this section is we're going to demonstrate how we can use an HTML injection attack to stale someone's form. So now before we go into the steps on how to do that, let's take a look at the client side file that we have in front of us. So we can see over here, as we outlined, our insertion point is where the vulnerability is. So we essentially inserted some HTML in between the pre-existing HTML. Now what's significant about this is that this HTML that we inserted is actually before the HTML form. So this is going to allow us to actually replace this form with a form of our own. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use what's in here as a template. So we're going to save this. We're going to do a save page as. We're going to save it to the desktop. Default file name is fine. Text files, save. Once we've done that, we can close this tab, minimize, and then here's that page. So I'm going to right click, open it in a text editor, and now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the file. So we saw that when we supplied this right here as a value for my username, this is where it got injected. So what we need to do is we need to remove all of this pre-existing HTML so we don't get duplicates. And also take note at how this HTML replaced the words please log in. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to highlight all of this, and then we're going to type, please log in. OK. So now something else we need to do. And this is kind of the magic behind the whole thing of form staling. Take note of this action attribute. The action attribute is going to specify where the process agent is. And then on the process agent, we're going to outline the actions that should be performed on any data once the form is submitted. It will be outlined in this script right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to specify the process agent to be on a server that we control. And then the actions outlined in a script that we're going to write. So we're going to remove all of this. And now we're going to open up a terminal to figure out what our IP address is because we're going to specify the process agent to be at this location. So it's going to be 192.168.1.5. So I'll minimize this. And I'm going to come over to here and say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then I'll paste that address in and then the action file is going to be called index.php so this is what we're going to specify or place inside of our web services directory once we start the server okay perfect so now we have one more step to do inside of this file because we're inserting in this HTML we want to replace the other one so what we have to do is we have to remove the pre-existing one so we're going to comment out the rest of the HTML. All right, so now it's done. So now we can simply just do a control A, control C, minimize this. And now we're going to go inside of lab four and then inside of there, you're gonna find a file called encoder.html. We're gonna open this file with another application. Make sure Ice Weasel is selected, click select. And then we're going to click inside this text area, paste in the HTML. So what we're doing here is this. If we just try to supply this as the value for my username, what's going to happen is your browser is not going to render some of this HTML because some of the characters in here don't play nice with the browser. Your browser doesn't interpret them the right way, essentially. So what we're going to do to get around all that is we're going to encode it. So now that it's encoded, we're just going to do a control A, control C again close this out and now we'll supply this as the value for my username so I'll do a control V hit enter okay so now this looks like the original page and that's why this is also considered a type of social engineering attack because we're perpetrating that we're something that we're not in any event we're going to verify that in fact this is our form and not the original form so to do that we're gonna right click view the page source now in the page source we can see some of the stuff that we edited so we can see that the process agent is not on yourbank.com that it's actually at a server at this location so perfect and then if we scroll down we can see that the other form has been commented out so everything we did is intact perfect